tako da počnemo idejom da se nas to tiče. Da smo mi tu učesnici, da nismo samo pasivni. Jer ako smo samo pasivni, onda ne radimo drugo, nego hranimo te platforme koje su bile dizajnirane s dosta jasnim ciljem. I think you have to start from the premise that we have freedom of speech and that that's a fundamental right. It's enshrined in international law and in national laws around the world. Censorship is something that's become increasingly important with the need for government ostensibly for law enforcement purposes, but also for hate speech. And we have to try and balance the feeling that we have a fundamental right to our speech, but also that that then can't impede on other people's speech. The thing that's important to remember is that the national security exception is not unlimited. And much of the activities that are currently underway that we now know about due to the Snowden revelations show that um, the activities that are happening are actually not uh, legitimate activities under the national security exception. The recent revelations about mass surveillance show really that governments in the five eyes have taken on precedent step of increasing stepping up mass surveillance programs that are intrinsically illegal because there's no legal framework for such programs. Sigurno da postoji strah i strah je poprilično opravdan zato što ne da to kao postoji kao šansa da će se to desiti nego se to upravo i dešava. Mislim, dešava se na različitim nivoima, da li to da mi svesno dopuštamo da, da informacije koje, se mi, koje mi proizvodimo su u stvari roba sa kojim se trguje ili se zloupotrebljava od strane nekih bezbednostnih agencija širom sveta. data protection field, uh, all we can do is establish key principles that are acceptable and then as problems arise, as they will always arise, we need to refer back to the principles and make sure that uh, the appropriate balance between individuals' rights are, is uh, reached. Pa prvo država ne pravi opšte razliku kakvi su ti mediji, uopšte ne razume kakav je način izražavanja na internetu, kakvi su to forme izražavanja, ko su ljudi koji obavljaju te vrste poslova, ne razume kontekst u kome se blog odvija kao jedna slobodna forma izražavanja, forum i recimo kanali socijalnih mreža. Ovde jednostavno možemo da govorimo o tri moguće modele. Znači jedan je prepustiti potpuno regulatoru da reguliše bilo sve ono što se odnosi na internet, što je jako pogrešno rešenje. Moguće zamisliti neke samo regulatorne mehanizme kao što već funkcioniše Savjet za štampu, ali postoji treća mogućnost da se uopšte ne bavi država niti samo regulacija tim pitanjem. Zato što, evo, mi već deset i više godina imamo internet, tako nijedna vrsta regulacija malte ne nije postojala i internet funkcioniše sasvim dobro. Znači, nije potrebno veštački stavljati pod regulaciju nešto što možda još nije zrelo za regulisanje. Teško je propustiti svu odgovornost na onog jadnika kojeg bombarduje Facebook, Google i sav marketing i ideja digitalne ekonomije, zato neka osnovna pravila skoro moraju postojati. Recimo da se ljudi nauči kako se upotrebljava filtre, da se kampanje prave, da se upotrebljava open source i sl. Ali to su sve recimo jako manji hekovi. To je otprilike tako kao, znaš, ono male kampanje u osnovnim školama kako i zašto se jede, to je dobro za tebe, to nije, ali onda na televiziji imaš ono samo reklame za fast food i nemaš ni vremena i nemaš ni novca da si priuštiš nešto drugo. So in terms of, you know, basic freedom of expression issues, um, the regulation of on, online media has, um, I would say, a profound impact because um, online media provides an outlet for alternative information and puts in, especially in countries where, like, after the economic um, crash, um, online media became a more sort of viable um, medium. Pa jako je teško svesti uh, regulisanje bilo kog sistema, isključeno samo regulaciju. Naročito, ako i uzmemo u obzir da infrastruktura koju koristimo, uh, čitan iz drugih stvari, je već pod određenom regulacijom. Znači, država već kontroliše različite načine čitavnih stvari. Ne možemo izaći iz tog sistema. 
Pitanje je kako možemo taj sistem dopuniti samo regulacijom i kako to može sve zajedno kreirati jedan ekosistem koji je ono što mi smatramo potencijalno dobar za slobodu govora i koji će dovesti do kvalitetne diskusije u javnom prostoru koji internet omogućava. Ultimately, the idea of self-regulation is, is a good one. Um, in some ways, it takes, um, in certain situations, I think, it takes the regulatory authority away from a regulator, which is a good thing in, in situations where um, the regulatory body is politicized. Cornerstone should be our fundamental human rights, which is a right to privacy initially and a right to freedom of expression. As internet users, we've got access to a range of tools such as Tor, Onion Routing, we've got access to encrypted mail, but what we've seen from the recent programs is that none of this is 100% secure. The first step for society is that we need rules that are clear, are predictable and are properly enforced. What we as individuals can do is use privacy enhancing technologies, use encryption, uh, avoid using uh, major corporations whose job, who's, who, makes, who make money out of our personal data unless we know what they're doing with their data and we're comfortable with that. I think we as users of it, people that they rely upon, need to make it clear that we respect our privacy and that we respect our data and we have certain expectations of what can be done with that data. A reversal of a lot of the efforts to, to um, regulate online expression will be step one, you know, so, so loosening the framework for this more and more states are trying to implement measures to control online expression from the standpoint of media, journalists, and also just cyber users. So I would say, um, you know, the first step would be to, you know, to stop the regulation of, of the online expression. As we all are concerned about the freedom of speech and the freedom of information, especially on the internet, our position is whether we are klasični novinari, da li smo web novinari, da li smo aktivisti za ljudska prava, aktivisti za slobodu interneta su prilično drugačiji. I moramo još dosta da radimo na tome da usaglašavamo naše mišljenje i da bi mogli zajednički da delujemo. I da iako negde ja zastupam i mi verovatno sa tim šef defensom i ostalim, da bi trebali da krenemo da povratimo nekako tu tehnologiju u naše vlasništvo. U smislu da bi najidealnije sad neki scenarij bili da mi svi postanemo vlasnici tih podataka koje proizvodimo, a ne da se oni svi negde postaju neka vrsta zlata ili bogatstva za neke 3-4 velike kompanije.